Hello and good day everyone. My name is Sir Marcy and our lesson for today is all about solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Before we proceed with our main topic, let's try to recall first how to convert a perfect square trinomial to a square up binomial. Let's say express the x squared plus 4x plus 4 as a square up binomial. So to do that, first thing that we need to do is to get the square root of the first term. So we get the square root of x squared and that is simply x. We copy the sign of our second term which is positive and then we get the square root of the last term which is 2 then we will raise it to the second power to check if the answer is correct you just simply multiply 2 times 2 times x and that is equal to positive 4x therefore if we will convert x squared plus 4x plus 4 as a square point of binomial the answer is the quantity of x plus 2 squared Okay, let's have another example. Express p squared minus 5p plus 25 over 4 as a square of binomial. So again, step number 1, we get the square root of our first term. The square root of p squared is p. We copy the sign of our second term. So we have minus. And we get the square root of our last term. The square root of 25 over 4 is 5 over 2. Then we will raise this to the second power. To check if the answer is correct, we multiply 2 times 5, that is 10, divided by 2, that is 5, times p, so we'll have 5p. And the answer now is the quantity of p minus 5 over 2 raised to the second power. And now, it's your turn. Express t squared minus 12t plus 36. If your answer is the quantity of t minus 6 raised to the second power, that's correct. Let's say we have h squared plus 8h plus 16. Okay? The answer is the quantity of h plus 4 raised to the second power. Let's have our last example. Suppose we have p squared minus 3 over 2p plus 9 over 16. And we will express this as a square of binomial. Okay? If your answer is the quantity of p minus 3 over 4 raised to the second power, that's great. Aside from converting a perfect square trinomial to a square binomial, let us also recall how to make a polynomial a perfect square trinomial. Okay? Let's say what number must be added to make the polynomial a perfect square trinomial. The first step that we are going to do is to get the numerical coefficient of the second term and that is 12. We multiply this by 1 half. 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 2. The answer is 6. Then we will square it. So 6 squared is equal to 36. So to make h squared plus 12h a perfect square trinomial, we will add positive 36. Okay, let's try to have another example. We have p squared plus 7p plus blank. Again, to make this a perfect square trinomial, we're going to get the numerical coefficient of our second term and that is 7. So 7, multiply it by 1 half. We now have 7 times 1, that is 7, all over 2. Then we square it. That is simply 7 times 7, 49. And 2 times 2 is 4. So therefore, p squared plus 7p plus blank. To make it a perfect square, we will add 49 over 4. 
Okay, now it's your turn. What number must be added to m squared minus 20m plus blank? Okay, the answer is 100. Okay, next, we have x squared minus 24x plus blank. The answer is 144. Okay, last one, we have a squared plus 5a plus blank. Okay, the answer is 25 over 4. Let's now proceed with our lesson, solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Another method of solving quadratic equation is by completing the square. This method involves transforming the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 into the form the quantity x minus h squared is equal to k where k is greater than or equal to 0. Here are the steps in solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Number 1, divide both sides of the equation by a, then simplify. Number 2, write the equation such that the terms with variables are on the left side of the equation and the constant term is on the right side. Number 3, add the square of one half the coefficient of x on both sides of the resulting equation the left side of the equation becomes a perfect square trinomial. Number 4. Express the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of binomial. Number 5. Solve the resulting linear equation. And number 6. Check the solutions obtained against the original equation. Solve the quadratic equation x squared plus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. Since our a here is equal to 1, we will proceed with step 2. If our a is greater than 1, we will divide first the quadratic equation by a. Okay, so we will proceed with step 2. Since again, our a is equal to 1, we will transpose negative 18 to the Right, so that is now x squared plus 3x plus blank is equal to 0 plus 18. When you transpose the constant term to the right, the sign changes. Okay, from negative, it will become positive. Then we simplify. We now have x squared plus 3x plus blank is equal to 0 plus 18 and that is 18. Next is we need to make this quadratic equation a perfect square trinomial. But the question is what number must be added here to make this a perfect square trinomial? If you remember in our activity to, to make this a perfect square trinomial, we will get half of the numerical coefficient of our second term. So our numerical coefficient for, in our second term is 3. Then multiply it by 1 half. So 3 times 1, that's 3, all over 2. Then we square it, that is now um, 9 all over 4. So we're going to add both sides of the equation by 9 over 4. Okay, so plus 9 over 4. Okay, so I will rewrite it. That is now um, x squared plus 3x plus 9 over 4 is equal to 18 plus 9 over 4. Notice that x squared plus 3x plus 9 is now a perfect squared trinomial, wherein we can express this in terms of a square binomial. Also, in our last activity, we transform a perfect square trinomial into square binomial. That is simply getting the square root of the first term, which is x squared, and that is simply x. We copy the sign of our second term, that's plus, and then we get the square root of our last term, 9 over 4, and that is 3 all over 2, then raised to the second power. Also, in our right side, we will simplify 18 plus 9 over 4. So, 
I'll be using a shortcut on how to get the sum of 18 plus 9 over 4. So we cross multiply 18 times 4. 18 times 4 is 72. Then 9 times 1, that is plus 9. And 1 times 4 is 4. So we add 72 plus 9, that is 81 over 4. So this is now the quantity of x plus 3 over 2 squared is equal to 81 over 4. Okay, next is we're going to apply extracting square roots. Okay, so this is now, again I will write it, x plus 3 over 2 squared is equal to 81 over 4. So extract square roots. We now have the square root of the quantity x plus 3 squared is simply, that is, simply x plus 3 over 2 is equal to the square root of um, 81 over 4 that is now positive negative 9 over 2. Then we will break the equation. That is x plus 3 over 2 is equal to 9 over 2. And we have x plus 3 over 2 is equal to negative 9 over 2. So we will add. We'll add both sides of the equation by negative 3 over 2. Okay, so this is x. 9 minus 3, we have 6 all over 2. And what is 6 over 2? x is equal to positive 3. Next, we also add both sides of the equation by negative 3 over 2. So, cancel. Then, x is equal to negative 9 plus negative 3, negative 12 over 2. And what's negative 12 over 2? x is equal to negative 6. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.